Now that our new lithium batteries are all installed, we can take out the old lead acid batteries so we can finish the galley renovation. Since we're recycling them, uh, I don't really feel like using a wrench to take the battery cables off. So I'm just gonna snip them. <laughs> These just come right off. <laughs> These are really loose. I don't know how. Maybe because they've been sitting for so long. Wow. It's because they're tapered, I think. That's terrifying. They lasted as long as they needed to last. And uh, I'm glad we never have to do that again. Those things are way heavier. <laughs> Battery number two. Bye bye bats. So now we gotta take those over to the shop. They're gonna send them to be recycled. Those batteries were mounted kind of underneath here and we're gonna be building in some more drawers. So they needed to come out before we could finish this project. Yeah. All right. So we finished cutting this big piece of plywood as sort of a template for the countertop. Uh, we installed it, it fits really well. There's a couple of modifications I'm gonna make later on, but for the most part, it's good. And this is our sink. We got this on Amazon. It's a full-size kitchen sink. It's 29 inches by 18 inches. Uh, but we really like it because it's got this section. It's raised up a little bit and has a drain section. So we can wash dishes and stack them in there to dry, which is perfect. Normally in a kitchen, it would be mounted long ways, would be side to side. We're gonna mount it so that it goes front to back in our countertop. Uh, and that way it doesn't waste a whole lot of space and we have the space in the back to uh, dry dishes. It is made out of composite quartz. So it's quartz, but it's squished together and form molded in a resin. So it's really hard, it's really durable. It's not stainless, so it's not gonna rust. It's not porcelain or ceramic, so it's not really heavy. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna work really, really well. It's designed to be an undermount sink and normally in a kitchen, uh, you just, kind of glue the brackets to the bottom of the countertop and, and uh, use the brackets to hold it to the bottom of the countertop. But since it's a boat and everything moves around a little bit more, we're gonna keep this piece of plywood and we're actually gonna do a drop-in mount of sorts for the plywood and then use a router to make it flush so that the corian goes over top and it still looks like an undermount sink. But it's really more of like a sandwich between the corian and the plywood. Yeah, time to cut a hole. Well, the corian in the head worked out really, really well. So we're gonna use the same color corian for the galley countertop. Um, there's a workshop here that does custom cabinetry and countertops for some of the more luxury yachts. So we purchased a sheet from them and uh, this project's gonna be a little bit bigger than the one in the head. So I'm a little bit nervous. I've, uh, that was my first corian project. This will be my second one. I hope it turns out well. Well, I'm about to cut the hole for the sink, and uh, it's always a little bit nerve-wracking because there's really no room for air. Double-check everything multiple times for spacing and alignment. And then you plunge around, router in, and uh, hope you don't mess anything up. Finally. Well, that was a lot more of a pain in the butt than I expected it to be. Um, the router bit that I bought to cut the whole thing out ended up finding a weak spot in my big router. I've had that router for 15 years almost, and I finally burnt out the brush shit. Oh, Pause. All right, yeah, so the first time I tried cutting it out, I ended up burning out one of the brushes in my router. That router is 15 years old and I've used it a ton, including on the boat where it's lived in a very salty environment. So I finally burnt it out. But uh, I have this spare router and so I put the little bit on there, started going around like eighth inch passes, going around, going around. And then I made it down deep enough that I actually couldn't get it uh, down into the material far enough. 
without hitting the bearing. So I had to end up cutting it out with a jigsaw, like rough cutting it with a jigsaw, and then finishing it with that router again. So, yeah, sinkhole's cut, but that was a pain in the butt. And uh, it looks like I have a little bit more alignment work to do. The rough cut that I did out of the plywood underlayment earlier uh, is off by about a quarter of an inch. Not bad. Not bad at all. Looks like I need to move it over about 3 sixteenths of an inch. Well, I just drew out the uh, the drain, the dish drying rack. I'm gonna route out grooves in the top so that water drains back down into the sink and doesn't just pool on the countertop. Lines up perfectly. I think we're finished cutting the wood, the three quarter inch wood that's gonna act as a base for our countertop and cutting out all the spots of the sink and to access uh, Hefty Susan over here. Uh, I primed the bottom, the underside of it uh, to just kind of help seal it again. Technically this is marine grade plywood which just means it has waterproof glue, water resistant glue, but may as well cover it so it lasts more than a couple of years. Now we just have to bring it back to the boat. So we changed dock yesterday because now we're a little further away from the shop but the cool thing is that the office is letting us use one of the golf carts to carry our stuff back and forth <laughs> after hours after hours golf cart ride this one doesn't have reverse so uh you gotta go the old-fashioned way <laughs> This beautiful thing is done as well. Problem now is we have to get it to our boat, which is on the other side of the marina, and uh, we really don't want to break it between here and there. So we're gonna have to build some sort of like crate to carry it in. I'm not losing it now. I've spent too much, <laughs> too much work, too much effort in this thing to break it now. We got up this part. Ugh. Now we have to take it from the truck all the way to our boat, which is like way down there. So we have to carry it down the dock now. Good driving, Chica. You know, it's my first time driving a pickup truck. <laughs> Although we went like two miles an hour the entire time. <laughs> all right, I've got it. I'm letting go. Yep, I got it. All right. All right, last night we test fitted the Corian countertop and it fits really, really well. So today we pulled it back off and I'm about to put a coat of primer on top of this plywood again just to sort of seal it hopefully make it last a little bit longer uh, and then once it's dry we'll permanently install the sink and the countertop. I'm using the same primer that we got in the Rio it's an epoxy primer and um, it dries really hard and creates a pretty good sealed surface. It's always tricky doing something like this inside of the boat because 
much as you can protect everywhere, you can't protect everything. I'm trying my best not to make a mess. Done! First coat. I'll let it dry for maybe 30 minutes, I'll put a second coat on it. But, done enough. Finally time to glue it down. Okay, time to build some drawers. Go test fit these on the boat, maybe um, install the sliders for the drawer slides. And then if everything fits and everything's good, we're gonna laminate the outsides of them as well and get that nice little strip stuff that goes on the top to make it look all pretty. Um, we weren't planning on laminating these drawers at the beginning. So the first drawer I made, this one, <laughs> that goes underneath like the companion way above the freezer. We didn't laminate this side up. So now we have to cut everything yeah. perfectly. We're laminating post mortem. <laughs> post mortem. Post What's not mortem? Birth. Post controdum. It's a lot easier to laminate the inside of a drawer before you screw it all together. But now that this one's done, we're going to like very surgically go through. I hope this. Toy fit. Like a glove, check that out. Boom! Does it have the corners built? Oh, don't remind me. Are we gonna do that tonight? Probably should. Yeah, we're gonna do all that tonight. We can cut a strip that's a little bit taller and then we can route it off after. Because they're all the same, yeah. We can route it post mortem. Post mortem. <laughs> you know what it means, right? Yeah, it means after death. Okay. Well, what's after birth? Post, -car post carnation. No. Reincarnation is like rebirth. Yeah. So carnate, carnation. Okay, Google. <laughs> okay, Google. All right, these are the tiles that we installed in our head. Um, they have like an adhesive foam on the back, and they worked really, really well, and we liked them. So we're going to install them on the backsplash in the galley as well. Well. Most of the big ones are done. Now I just need to finish installing the little, uh, all the little cut pieces. <laughs> so, what do you think, Chica? I like it. I hope it stays. Oh, I think it will. It's the other tile that has issues. This stuff's like 3M epoxy foam. On the back of these tiles is like this it's sort of 3M epoxy foam stuff. So it's flexible and it's super sticky. One of the issues with having such a deep sink now, since we rotated like a normal sink sideways, is that getting a faucet that's not in the way. Because if we had like a normal, like up and over faucet, it would be either in the way of the companionway steps coming down, or in the way of the countertop, or it would be up against here. So after a little bit of research and a little bit of digging around, we decided to go with a pot fill. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, it only has like the one valve, so even if we have hot water on the boat, we'll only ever use cold water wash dishes. We'll use hot water to shower sometimes if it's really cold. But it's gonna be mounted back here on the wall, and then you can pull it all the way forward so you can have access with water to the front edge of the sink, which is pretty sweet. And then you can stow it out of the way. It looks pretty good too. I think it might be stainless, like brushed stainless. We found this one on Amazon, and I think it was only like, 60 or 70 bucks. We'll leave a link down in the description. The big spacer thing on.
All right, I think this is starting to look really, really nice. Obviously, we're not done. We're kind of at the same level at the head renovation right now where we've got most of the important things done. Uh, we still have a few things to figure out, like what we're going to do with the hall on the side and what we're going to do with the other side. We have to finish the towels. We have to add some lashes, finish the laminating, do the plumbing and other little small details. But we're at a good point to, so you can get the idea and it looks really cool. I like it. And if you liked it as well, make sure you leave a giant thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you want to see our lovely faces again, make sure you subscribe. And then we'll see you on our next video. Until then, guys. Cheers!